Welcome, folks, to downtown Atlanta and Mercedes-Benz Stadium, site of this year's Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl and, of course, part of the college football playoff. Today, we have a top 25 matchup on hand, two of college football's premier teams preparing to battle against one another. As we'll see, the number 17 team in the country, the Clemson Tigers, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. So the Georgia Bulldogs offense going to get the chance to start this game off. Here comes that star wide receiver with the swag that kind of rubs opponents the wrong way, Kirk, because he's saying, I don't care who you are, I'm going to embarrass you today. Well, Chris, there's a rumor that this guy actually DMs the opposing corners before the game that he's going to go up against as if to say, hey, it's going to be a long day for you today. But the wild thing is he actually comes out and single-handedly unravels defenses to the point that by the end, it looks like he's in the heads of the opposing secondary. Second down play coming up. by the tight end. They get him down, but the game moves the ball under the 36. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And you know, being able to have a balanced attack, so important in modern college football, and Georgia does that as well as anybody. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Quick throw caught on the left side. It'll be smarter right at the line for no gain. I love the call here with the wide receiver screen, but where's he going to go? The blockers do not do their job and open up any running lanes at all. Second down play coming up for this offense. Back to pass. It's back. Misses the receiver incomplete. to throw it again. The sure hand. It's ETN. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's foul. Chris, great effort here by the defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. The dogs will line up to put it away. Landed at the seven and bounced into the end zone for a touchback. So the Clemson Tigers offense comes out for their first possession today. And how about the game within a game today? The running back coming downhill, the linebacker coming up to meet him. We expect some collisions on this field today. Yeah, this linebacker's going to have his hands full because this running back is a difficult guy to contain. Both guys know where each other's going to be lined up at all times. It's just going to come down to which guy can come up and make a play against the other. It's an excellent effort by this defense just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough push to get any yards at all. Now it's second down here. The shotgun running play call. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? 
Running back grabs it on the screen. They're finally able to stop him, but the defense is fooled a bit on that screenplay. It's a solid game for a first down. Well, this is great execution here on this screenplay to the running back to pick up big yards in a first down. I think in a process, Chris, they send a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. Takes the handoff. It's Maffa. And the soft are able to bring him down quickly. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback still with the football. Breaks loose at the 45. Brought down, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 49. Man, is this guy difficult to deal with or what? When your quarterback can just say, I am pulling this down and I am taking off myself on the option, he has that kind of speed. As a defense, all you can do is just say your prayers. This comes an offense moving quickly down the field. Off an RPO, the quarterback looks to his right. And he's brought down after a big first down gain. It's second and short. Maybe an opportunity, Kirk, to take a shot here. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air, and it puts a lot of pressure on this defense. And they have it off to the back. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off, and there's nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call, and they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. One of those critical third down plays coming up. Can he make it to the marker? They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. And he finds his target. He has the first. They've got him, but they convert on third down, and the drive keeps going. Man, that's got to be deflating for this defense. They had this offense right where they wanted, and then they come up with a fourth down conversion with that pass. Hudson getting set with a first and ten now. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. The offense gets set for the tenth play on this drive. Back to throw. It's Klubnik. He is a load to bring down. Finally, a strong tackle by the quarterback gets him. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Now it's third and short in the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. The pass rush closing in. So the decision is to not go for it, but settle for three. Here comes the field goal team. And he's got it from 47 yards away, showing off the deep range. You know, I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense.
goal. The kicker out there again to boot it away. And here's the return from inside the five. Tackle at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last try, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? Pressure is coming. He's hit just before the throw. He has first down yardage at the 46. Well, this is what separates the men from the boys right here. This quarterback knows he's going to get hit, does a good job of staying laser-focused on his target, and as he throws that ball, he gets annihilated, but big positive yards because of that determination by the quarterback. One play already to the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Receiver in motion now. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. He shreds the tackle. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Boy, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces the defense to stretch them out horizontally and can create some vertical seams for this offense. They got some positive yards. They quite get the first down, but I'll tell you what they've done planted a seed on this defense and they better defend this style of play moving forward off play action he's looking to throw it's a short completion of the big tight end heads out of bounds after a solid game more than enough to pick up a first down well this is what coaches love to see a quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man sometimes it sounds simple but it's tough to execute this time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. And the wideout goes in motion. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. Yeah, Chris, not an ideal play here when you throw the football and you go the wrong direction. I think we got to look at the playbook here to see how we can try to make those yards up. Offense getting set. It's second down. Heading left after the handoff. Breaking free at the 35. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. First down here for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. The game moves the football to the six yard line. It'll be first down and goal. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. Back-to-back -back big plays. Defense is reeling. Set up first and goal now. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. The Bulldogs come to the line with first and goal. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And it's first and goal. You're thinking about trying to score. You're looking at positive yards. Instead, you're going backwards. That's going to set up a very important second down call here. So the ball moved back to the 12 for second and goal. Looking to pass. It's back. He's got it. Looking for the end zone. Tackled at the six-yard line after the completion. Offense really threatening now. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. Game sets up a third down and goal from the six. And the quarterback dropping back. Pass caught. Can he get in? And the defense wraps him up. Chris, I like the call here. I just think that the receiver could have done a better job of his route of actually ending his route up in the end zone to make it easier for the quarterback to put that throw on him for a touchdown. Instead, they're still short. Now we've got a fourth and goal. So Clemson has the lead here, Kirk, as we head to the quarter break. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. They've 
flipped into the field. We're ready now for the second period. We'll start off the second quarter with a field goal attempt here. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. And that will tie the game here. Chris, they get the three points, but looking back at it, fourth and inches. Pretty conservative call there. I really thought they would have gone for it. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. Tackled at the 13, not great field position to start the drive. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. The last possession, they settled for three. Let's see if they can reach the end zone this time. Hat on the hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Game makes it second and medium. To the air, it's Klubnik. That pass is hauled in over the middle. You get him down, but that's a nice play. Moves the ball to the 33. Man, there's the tight end who shows off his hands. Hey guys up front lined up. It's first down. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Second down after that run on the previous play. The pre-snap motion from the offense. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Man, that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide. It can create some vertical seams for big plays. To come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. He's got it for a big game. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. And the Tigers looking to crank up the tempo a bit. They're going to run it. Mack gets the carry. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Dropping back. It's Klubnik. Throws to the tight end. Finds the receiver wide open. That's a big game. The offense is threatening that spot. The ball at the 22. I don't know what happened here with this defense. The tight end was wide open. Had to be a bust in coverage. Clemson getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Takes the handoff. It's Maffa. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. Clemson now operating in the red zone. 
There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Makes the grab. It's Maffa. The gain is not enough for first down, so it brings up a fourth and short. Looks like the coach decides to go for three points here. Here comes the field goal team. He was on target the first time. Can he keep it going from 33 yards out? And it's good right down the middle. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. But the play is just blown up by the big fella in the middle, Kirk, showing some quickness for his size. Yeah, we know about his power, but how about his ability to penetrate there? And that's the quickest way to blow up a run game is that interior penetration. If you're able to break through the middle of that offensive line, then you can create a lot of havoc in the middle. To throw, it's back. Catch hauled in here over the middle. He shreds the tackle. Stiff arms his way to a decent game before they get him down. Well, defending this guy, you need more than one defender. You really got to stress rallying to the football because this guy can make people miss. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Out of the gun now on third down. QB to the tight end for a completion. That'll pick up first down yardage very near the 40. As the tight end flexed out into the slot looking for a matchup there, Kirk. Well, it is a matchup because he has the size where he's very difficult to be able to match up for his safety. And he's got the speed to be able to outrun a linebacker. That's why they like to flex him out like that and be able to pick up nice big gains like this. On first and 10 here, looking to throw the ball. Makes the grab. It's Lovett. Even surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. The second down after that completion. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. I'm a big fan of the RPO, but it is a dangerous play for the quarterback. you got to make the right decision. On this play, it just seemed like he was a little hesitant, unsure, and it cost him here with an incompletion. The offense facing a tough conversion here, third and long from the 42. Grab down the middle. It's ETN. What out of the 46, good enough for a first down. Chris, I kind of feel like a coach right now because I'm always wondering why the angle route continues to be so effective when as an inside linebacker, all you're ever taught, all you hear about is don't let them cross your face. If they want to go to the outside, it's okay. But inside, no, no, no. Can't have that happen, and it cost them. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Second down after that previous play. Tight end goes in motion. Quarterback keeps the football. The Salt were able to bring him down quickly. Well, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. Trying to convert again on third down. It's third and two. And 
quarterback keeps it here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. When it linebackers and really the quarterback and the defense on this play, diagnosed that read quickly and executed it flawlessly. He just blew in and blew up the option play for a loss. Out comes the field goal team to give it a shot. This is a long way out. You know the kicker has good range, but this one is from 59 yards away. No problem. Knocks it right through. And we're all tied up now. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. Kickoff team will put it away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And they've got the returner corralled. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. They settled for three last time. Let's see what they can come up with this drive. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Backwards on first down, so it's second and long here from the 10. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. They tackle him about the 14. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Breaks clear. End zone ahead. They bring him down, but that is a huge play for this passing game. Big game. Boy, nice job here by this offense. Creating an opportunity for this receiver to excel after the catch. It's early in this game, so this defense better get their arms around this receiver because he could be a monster today. Snapping it from the red zone now. Look at a throw. Makes a quick grab. Touchdown, Clemson. Strong game by this quarterback. For a few play quarterback, how about appreciating a receiver that runs his routes that precisely? Chris, it's not just his route running. It's the chemistry between the quarterback and the receiver that really, I think, is unique. They put so much time into this in the offseason. By the time they get to Saturdays, you can close your eyes and make your throw. It's exactly what we saw right there. is good, so it's 13-6. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Returner choosing to field this one. And the returner is brought down. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. The last drive for his three points thanks to an excellent long-range field goal. Gonna run it. It's ETN. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. So behind the six, second and long from their 14. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. They got to get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. 
deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. And just like that, in one play, they put him in scoring position at the 23. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. That's the two-minute warning here before halftime as the offense tries to cut into this lead. Georgia setting up with a first and 10 now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Tight end makes the grab. I mean, we're not even to halftime yet, and I don't think this guy wants to take a break once we get to the half. That's his fifth catch and counting. George has moved into the red zone. Looking to chuck it again. And it's incomplete, targeting a man right near the... That ball gets tipped and goes straight up into the air. That's anybody's ball. The defense does a really good job down in this area, expecting the pass. The ball's in the air. Ball gets tipped. Keep in mind, the offense or the defense can get underneath that for a play. The ball hits the ground for an incompletion. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Perfect timing here by this quarterback. Great read, puts the ball where his man can make a play on it. And they're an extra point away from tying this game up. Kicking team on now for the extra point. And there's the point after. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. You have a shootout developing here. Each offense scoring touchdown on their last possession. Pulls it in. It's Brown. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Pass caught, second down now. Dropping back, it's Klubnik. It's an out route, the catch made. Wall carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains first down. You call a quick out on third down? I think that tells you the confidence you have in a quarterback to be able to make that throw. And on top of that, a little surprised the defense would give that kind of cushion to be able to give him room to pick up that first down. First down, we're going to throw the ball. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Big play across midfield, but spotted near the 36. I mean, the defense knew coming into this game that this guy was going to be a handful. they got to change things up. This guy's already got over 100 yards in this game and we're in the first half. The offense operating at peak efficiency. They come to the line again. And looking to throw now on first down. Quarterback takes off now, looking to scramble. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first to the half. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, of which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. First and ten play coming up. 
quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. And it's incomplete. He dropped the first down pass over the middle. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. So second and ten after the previous play. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Well, they don't make the completion here. The timing seemed to be off between the quarterback and the receiver. But, man, this defensive coordinator, you may want to consider getting more pressure on this quarterback by changing some things up. You've got a lot of time back there to throw the ball. And eventually, that's going to cost you. The offense was moving well, but two incompletions sets up a third and ten. Trying to create outside. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. And now the defense will call a timeout here to make an adjustment on their side before this crucial play. So here on fourth down, out comes the field goal team. And he's got it from 48 yards out, showing off the big leg. The snap. Hold the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. before halftime. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bell. Tackled at the 12. The coach wishes he left that one in the end zone. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. It'd be a surprise if they took a risk here with the final seconds of the first half backed up near their own end zone. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Well, that's exactly what you need to do as a receiver in these kind of situations near the end of the half. Get some positive yards, but also stopping the clock is just as important. A new set of downs after that completion. Using his legs, it's ETN. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Caught quickly. The ball is loose. Fumble recovered by the defense going the other way. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Tigers. A fumble return for six. Oh, my gosh. That, that looked like a great play. The receiver just drops the football. He clearly made the catch. The ball's on the ground. And how about the defense? Instead of just bouncing on it, they had the presence of mind to pick it up and go the other way for a touchdown. point is good they stretch the lead a little bit more so an important touchdown just before halftime not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break and he'll bring it out from inside the tent they make the tackle as time expires that'll do it for the first half and that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. All right, guys, thanks. Looks like we've had ourselves a very enjoyable first half so far. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working. 
And I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And on that note, time to throw it back to our guys at the stadium. Turn it from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out on the field. Trying to build on a positive first half for this offense to see if they can stretch the lead. There's some urgent, tremendous toughness here. Tackled at the 44, but good enough for a first down. Chris, all week they heard about how fast this guy is. The defense coordinator told them they watched the film. They've seen this guy a lot, but I think the reality of seeing it now in person. I think it surprised them. They've got to make some adjustments to their defense, or this guy and his speed will continue to have a field day. Quick pass, the catch is made. Breaks loose at the 40. Tackle is finally made, but not before a big game. He spotted at the 24. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Linebackers trying to confuse this offense now. The Tigers looking to crank up the tempo a bit. To throw, it's Klubnik. Fires it to the wideout. Caught near the goal line. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. I mean, how about this offense and this execution? That's three plays, three completions, and the blink of an eye, and now it's first and goal. So three plays in, this offense has set up a first and goal. Very efficient so far. Try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. The defense expecting run. They'll stop him short of the goal line. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fits. they holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Offense facing second and goal. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. And they're trying to punch it in here. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Well, they came very close to punching that one in, and now third down and goal. And if I'm the OC, I challenge my offensive line in that back. I just slam it right back into that A-gap and try to overpower that defensive front. The running game up twice, it sets up a third down and goal. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Clemson. How important was that touchdown, Kirk? It's now a two-possession game here in the second half. It's a great job with this offense with their execution and having situational awareness here in the second half. They now have, as you said, Chris, this two-possession lead. they got a great chance to finish it off and get a win. team out for the PAT try. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. He'll take the return and try to get some better field position. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. A handoff from the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Boy, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. They got some ground to make up, second and long from the 15. And there's the handoff. Mm. Soccer with a strong tackle there. 
back looking to throw for the first down defense is coming after him with the catch it's Bell and the runner steps out of bounds but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down this is a big conversion by this offense they're down now in the second half probably limited opportunities at this point in the game every chance you get your hands on the ball you need points they keep this drive alive right here From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? in the backfield. It's your ascent. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Boy, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that catch. The offense now facing a third and long from the 26. Got to avoid a mistake here. Dropping back. It's back. Quick throw over the middle. And he's got his bag open downfield. A big play moves the ball across midfield. The opponent's 43. Four marks put so much pressure on your secondary. The quarterback has time to throw. You've got four receivers streaking into the back part of your defense. Eventually, the quarterback's going to find an open target. If he has the time, and he did here, he makes some pay for it. Big throw by the quarterback off the RPO. It's good for a three-yard gain, so second and seven. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody. It allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Looking to throw yet again. Fires it to the wideout. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back. Looking to throw for it on third down. Here's a screen pass to the running back. On the screen, doesn't produce a first down. Good work by the defense. Now it's fourth down. And there's just nothing here for the quarterback to do other than throw it to his back and hope that he can get the yards after the catch, enough for the first down. But the defense gives some yards, but not enough for him to get to the sticks. So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. And that one is no good. The deficit remains 17 points off the mess. Well, that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. That poor kicker. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. Off the 52-yard miss, the offense will take over at their 35. On first and 10, they'll look to throw it. Caught over the middle. It's Brown. Chris, this guy has a big-time arm. He just zipped the ball in there. You know, you can sometimes show your arm strength in other ways than just bombing it deep. Here's the second down play. behind the line. It's Brown. And that gained enough for a fresh set of downs. Spotted at the 48. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? 
off the play fake, looking to throw. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football, and now it's second down. You know, and this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. So second down after the incompletion. Looking downfield, it's Klubnik. It's complete on the crossing route. He's brought down, but the game moves the ball to the 39. This is turning into a monster day for this quarterback, Kirk. His passing yards now up over 350. Yeah, and it seems like this defense has tried everything. They're blitzing. They're sitting back in zone. They're trying to double coverage certain receivers. Uh, everything that they've tried is, unfortunately for them, not working because of how well this quarterback is seeing it and throwing today. The game is two yards, so it's second and eight. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with me. Important second down play coming up. Here comes the handoff. And they finally stop it, but a decent gain that time. down play coming up the tight end goes in motion before the snap quarterback in the shotgun here on third down and the senior making a disruptive impact play I like how this defense is bringing pressure from all over the field and that's the key in putting together a good defensive strategy on this play it came from the outside linebacker and he gets to the quarterback And the Tigers will line up to punt it away. The punt will bounce and head out of bounds. That's right near the goal line. Perfect execution. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They're going to run it here. They get him down, but that's a solid game. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. Getting set. Here's second down. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Grab down the middle. It's Thomas. And uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw, and that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and, of course, Stetson Bennett, who won back-to-back -back national championships, and what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. It's a quick grab. Great cut there. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Georgia getting set with a first and 10 now. Keeping it on the ground here. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. From the shotgun, an inside handoff. Getting close to midfield now. They bring him down to the 47. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football. And by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Third down. The offense desperately needs a conversion here. Trailing in the third quarter. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. 
tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. This one is out of bounds, and that'll give the offense great field position. Returner decides to fair catch this. So Clemson has the lead here, Kirk, as we head to the quarter break. So after three quarters of play, it's a pretty solid lead. Let's take a look at our game stats, how we got here. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. Looking for some space. It's Maffa. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Looking for the wide out. And he's got it. Tackle made after a solid game. He'll spot the ball for 31. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. Now, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game. And it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. It's a shotgun run call. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. They tried to get the counter play to the edge, Kirk. We've seen this defense show their ability to pursue and fly to the football. Yeah, they sure can, and they did a nice job on this counter play. A lot of times you'll see those counters go more up into the middle of a defense, but they tried to bounce that to the outside, and that gave you an idea of what kind of speed this defense has. To throw, it's Klubnik. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. It is really tough on a quarterback when he thinks he's got a completion, an open man downfield. The ball's just about to get to his receiver, then out of nowhere, the defensive back steps in front of it and knocks away. Nice job. So it's third and long from the 29. Defense figures to bring pressure here. He's running out of time here, using his legs on the scramble. They bring him down at the 44. That's a solid game. Get closer to midfield now. Boy, this guy can do it all. We know what he can do with his arm, but when things aren't there, does a good job of pulling it down, knowing where the first down marker is, picking up the first down. The Tigers hustle to the line to run the hurry up. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Runner finding some space there. That's a solid gain on the ground. Now you're starting to see this defense, I think, wear down now that we're in the fourth quarter. It's been a tough day for them, and the offense is taking advantage of it. A lot of positive plays. Good job of eating as much clock as they can here on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll ride the back again here. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Well, this offense just seems to get more confident as this football game has played out. They've got a nice lead. Here they are in the fourth quarter, just working that clock, possessing the football, and trying to get out of here with a nice, solid victory. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Offense will keep it on the ground here. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. Offense operating from the pistol. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. That run sets up a critical third down play. Zero running room. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Man, really good job here by the defense. Flying around, 
recognizing the ball is out and then making the tackle short of the first down. And the Tigers will send the punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the punt heads out of bounds. They'll spot this ball about the 30. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. And he's looking to make a big play downfield. He's got it near the end zone. And he will score. Touchdown, Georgia. That's what makes this guy so dangerous as a wide receiver. He can catch the ball underneath, shake and bake and go by you, or use his speed to get around you and make a big play like this for a touchdown. Extra point try coming now. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Turn starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. Forced to punt last time. Trying to add points, build the lead right here. Some hard running there through a tackle. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call, and just keep working that clock. Game makes it second and medium. Play action fake looking to throw. Caught near the sticks. It's Adams. They've got it, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. Well, anytime you can have a balanced attack, it's always going to help an offense. And you know, the previous play, they're running the football. That puts a lot of pressure on the eyes of the linebackers and safeties. They start to think about defending the run. And a great job with that play action call to get them out of position and be able to hit that for that conversion. It's a quarterback keeper. Breaks loose at the 40. That's a huge game. Stop finally made it a 43. Man, is he pretty to watch run this option. He is so dangerous with the threat to run or to throw. This time he keeps it himself, and you can see how much ground he eats up with that kind of speed. The Tigers come to the line run the hurry up. Off the play fake on first down. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. And the tackle is made, but the offense now is set up. First and goal from the nine. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. Offense racing down the field. It sets up a first and goal inside the tent. Kimi decides to keep it here. And they finally stop it at the three. The offense really threatening now. Ooh, that came close to breaking into the secondary. Potentially a big play. Read option. The quarterback keeps it. And why he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yards. Only a nice tackle prevented it from going all the way. The offense can punch it in on second and goal. Looking to throw, it's Klubnik. Launching one to the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Tigers! So what happened there? The defense just lost track of the tight end down the goal line. I don't know. I don't know if they were just so focused on defending the goal line, they just completely forgot about the tight end. That'll be probably the easiest touchdown throw and catch of the game we see all day. to kick the extra point. And the 
extra point up and good. Makes it a three-score game, up 17 here in the fourth. Big set to kick the ball off now. The turn begins inside the 10. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. It was a one-play touchdown drive through the air last time. The defense makes some adjustments. Caught over the middle. It's Bell. Big game. Moves the ball across midfield to the 45. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Had been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. Fresh set of downs for the offense after that first down completion. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Looking to set up a screen pass here. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. Personal foul gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Oh, it's a reverse. Fighting off the defender. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from him. The dogs are in the red zone. Tackled way behind the line, he'll lose six there. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. Here's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. Trying for a fourth down completion. And they can't complete it. It's a turnover on downs. Defense stepping up there. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? What a great job by this defense. Really all game long. It's very fitting. Here we are now in the fourth quarter. A fourth down play. They step up yet again. Now you give the ball to your own offense. You work that clock. And you see your victory. Second down after that run on the previous play. And of course, they'll work the clock here, keep it on the ground. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Quick throw to his receiver. He's got his man in the open field. Rips off a big game. Finally tackled at the 46. For this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down. Working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. First down here. Time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. And that's the two-minute warning as this offense tries to work the clock, getting closer now to an impressive victory. Clemson getting set with a first and ten now. Ball handed off. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. 
Second down play coming up. Hand off to the back. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. And that's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. Don't forget, good blocking up front by the big fellas. And this running back just seems to have a nose for that first down marker. A few more runs like this, and he's going to be getting into a rhythm for sure. It's a first and ten play coming up for the offense. So go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Second down play coming up for this offense. Gonna run it. It's Mafa. And on the final play of the game, just a short game. That'll do it. Oh,